what's happening here is that we are laying siege to the fitness industry in a, in, a, in, a, in a storm of value creation. And it starts at the place that matters ultimately to all of us more than anywhere else, end user, customer, client. They are getting more fitness than they've ever gotten before. Hands down. There's a, there's a anyone know of Gresham's Law in economics? It says a good currency will chase out bad. And it's an interesting phenomenon. I learned about this in The Economist. Years ago, there was a, during hyperinflation in Israel, you know, it's like, a, you know, 100% a month inflation, several hundred percent a month inflation. Um, they found that a lot, big, co big part of the governmental cost to inflation was retooling um, coin-operated things like pay phones. And so what they did was they came out with some uh, uh, currency, a floating currency that was stable to the cost of a phone call. And so that you might have to pay one shekels, 10 shekels, 100 shekels, 1,000 shekels to get one of these coins each time it was worth a phone call. You get a better deal off of the phone token than you would off the shekel because the currency was stable. Good currency will chase out bad. End of lecture. Here's the thing. Good fitness chases out bad. So you want to do something insidious to a little globo gym. What you do is here's what we're going to do. We're going to get one CrossFit trainer and he's going to work over in a little corner and he's going to teach people how to squat and deadlift and clean and it's done. I guarantee you what the outcome will be. There will be one participant, then two, then four, then six, and then people are going to come to the gym owner and can we get rid of this fucking pec deck? I'd like to put in a squat rack here. Or a, uh, you know, we need a place to do pull-ups. There is none in this gym. Or, and it will take over like a cancer on the prevailing model. Globo gyms um, require a giant footprint, a large space. Where my wife and I made $100,000 in a dedicated 150 square feet in the corner of a jiu-jitsu studio, working AMs. Nothing special. I mean, we weren't great. We were committed, passionate about what we were doing. Our next step from there was 400 square feet. How far are we from the 21,000? Equipment, hell, it's a jujitsu school. You can't wear your shoes. We strung a rope, I got a rower, I gotta put it up when I'm done because it's in the way. Couple of dumbbells, a barbell, a plyo box, a bumper plates, a medicine ball, I'm about done. How much equipment, Matt, to outfit this half acre of, of and it is, 21,000 feet's a half acre. About 300,000 at that time to, I mean, when you bought yeah, and I guesstimate now that those, those, those figures might be five to 750. The equipment runs about 3,000 to 5,000 a piece per chunk, and you need 50 to 150 of them, depending on just how cutting edge you're gonna be. And we run into environments where they got this stuff, and you know what we do is, you know, firemen will love this. We're like, you give it to the firemen. <laughs> like, you know, look at that, because they'll come get it. Because uh, we, no, we got no value for it. It's in the way of the fitness we wanna teach. A, a, a real fitness place looks like this, ladies and gentlemen. Not a sea of equipment. Yep, this is a completely different thing. And so what do you staff this with? Now that I've got this half acre of, of, of uh, $500,000 worth of equipment and it's selectorized and uh, what I need is a, a bunch of McDonald's employees. I need a bunch of guys with polo shirts to make seven bucks an hour to stand there and babysit the pins and wipe cards at the front door. <laughs> And their turnover will be high, but thank God, because once they get up to nine bucks an hour, they're costing me. They're eating into my model again. And what is the real expectation of everyone that signs up for this thing to be profitable? What do I need? I need three out of four, four out of five, seven out of eight to, 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 to not come back. The business depends on them finding what value in their purchase? Zero. Zero. I was in a Gold's gym. It was a, one of the second to last corporate facility I was thrown out of. And uh, I was there on a Sunday morning. And, uh, <coughs> and Matt, I, I, I got the gym owner. I pulled him aside. I go, let me show you something, dog. And we're looking out there. And it was a Sunday morning. And there were about 50 people in the gym. I go, everyone in here is one of my clients. And he looks around. He looks at me. He goes, come on in. We're going to have a talk. Now, I'd been in the business 30 years. And it was amazing how hard this hit me, how out of the loop I was. He shuts the door. He goes, you and I aren't in the same line of work. He's got one of these chock full, and what it is, it's the, all the people and their cards that paid, did the, that PIF paid in full for the year and never came. He goes, this is the kind of client I want. And it, it didn't hit me even then. I was just like, whoa, this is like, you know, men are from Mars and women don't have penises or whatever the thing is. I mean, it was just like a total disconnect. I didn't see it as, as unethical behavior, unethical business. I do today. We're in a training business. You quit coming, 
I'm not going to put braces on my son's teeth. Completely different thing. Not a minimum wage deal. I think trainers, because it is, we're teaching skill here. You're learning skills today, right? Show of hands, you learn some stuff. Oh, it's going to get, and if you don't think so yet, wait till tomorrow. But we're, we're learning some skills and you're imparting skills and you're teaching things. We're not teaching people how to put the pin in the machine and move it, but we're teaching them how to move what? The, the human body. How to effectively, efficient locomote self. <clears throat> we're bringing tremendous change and it comes at the, the person that delivers that is, is, is a delivery vehicle for something that is absolutely breathtakingly marvelous in their lives. We have an impact on people's lives the likes of which few other professionals ever come to see.